I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce the cryomill, which is a benchtop instrument that falls within the family of ball mills for the cryogenic preparation of sample materials. It can be used to prepare soft, elastic, fibrous, medium hard, hard and brittle materials down to analytical grade fineness. The instrument itself is a sister instrument to that of the MM400 mixer mill, but is connected via a connection tube to the gas supply, which is liquid nitrogen. The liquid nitrogen circulates around the instrument and bathes the grinding jar continuously in liquid nitrogen, thus embrittling the sample material and keeping it cold. The modus operandi of the cryomill is identical to that of the mixer mill, by which we have a grinding jar of various size and various materials, and inside we have a grinding ball. The instrument oscillates from side to side at the preset amplitude, and it is the repeated impaction of the ball against the rounded inside surfaces of the jar and that facilitates particle size reduction until the embrittled material is powdered. The jar can simply be inserted, tightened, and with the tool provided, securely locked. When using the cryo mill for the first time, when it's at ambient temperature, we would program in pre-cooling time to allow the grinding jar to get really cold until it's frosted and the sample material inside the grinding jar is fully embrittled as we need to exploit that embrittlement for the fracturing to give it artificial fracturing properties. Typically we will freeze the material for between 5 and 10 minutes in the pre-cooling phase. Then we will set the time and the amplitude for the milling cycle itself. Typically, a milling cycle will not exceed three minutes in duration. Cryogenic preparation is commonly used in various areas of research. Common and typical application areas are those that want to preserve the volatile compounds that may be driven off during ambient preparation techniques. And these may include Sample materials such as plant parts, plastics, rubbers, even forensic science. The cryomill instrument can be supplied with a very wide range of accompanying accessories to facilitate many different applications. For instance, we offer a wide range of grinding jars available in both metallic and non-metallic product contact surfaces. The largest size, as we show here, is the 50 milliliter and we go down to grinding jars as small as 5 millilitres and in this instance we have an adapter whereby we can run either two or four samples of this size simultaneously to facilitate a much larger throughput rate. If the client wishes to work in either 1.5 mil tapered end or 2 mil milliliter round bottomed Eppendorf tubes for life science applications, we can also accommodate this with a further adapter. I hope this short introduction to cryogenic preparation, and in particular the cryomel instrument, has been of interest to you. Should you require further details, please feel free to contact our website at www.rech.com.